Well, good morning. Today is October 2nd. I'm sitting in my truck. Got about 10 minutes before shooting light. Doing my first ever muzzleloader hunt. Um, got the multi-season deer tag this year. This is the last weekend of the muzzleloader and it's my first time out. So, got the muzzleloader and uh, we'll see if we can't find a buck. Well, uh, that's a spike. If I wanted to film my shoot my first muzzleloader deer, I could have. He was at 120. Tall spike, but not the uh, not the caliber of deer I'm looking for. He's legal, but uh, not what I want. So one deer, one buck. Let's keep. Let's go find some more. Well, still only that one deer. Been to a couple other spots. Haven't spotted much. As you can see, it's real sunny. Still cold, it did freeze last night. A lot of these stumps have a frost on them still. So it definitely froze last night up here. About 8.15, been up here for an hour and 45 minutes. Only gonna be up here for about half the day. So I still got three hours. four deer now just saw a spike right down here from I was way over there when I saw him probably six seven hundred yards away and I drove over here but now I, I can't not that I was gonna shoot him but I just want to see if I could get close enough but I don't see him now I don't know he's giving me a slip it is 9 45 so I got an hour hour and 15 minutes left to hunt before I'm gonna head back home it's been fun I'm seeing I'm seeing more deer than I thought I would I mean I thought I'd see about this many deer I, I figured I'd find deer but the fact that I've seen a couple bucks kind of makes it cool. I don't know, just kind of cool. And then like the buck this morning, like knowing you know, he was in muzzleloader range, he was 120, bedded. I mean, I had all the time in the world. It's kind of cool just knowing like I could have got, if I wanted to fill the tag, could have done it. Well, we're gonna keep hunting and see what else we can find. Well, I just found deer number five. Got about 20 minutes before I gotta go out. Hit a side road that I haven't been down and see what was down here. And uh, on my way back out, I spotted a deer over on the edge there. Just a doe. That makes three does today. Well, two does a fawn and, and two spikes. Five deer. Day's not over. I still got 20 minutes on my way out and something happens. I might have to stay a little longer. Got a little bit more time, so we're gonna keep on going. And for a sunny day, they're out. Well, that buck from this morning is right down, right down in here. Just standing there broadside at 120. Just a tall spike. He's moved like maybe 10 yards from where he was bedded just to the right of where he is right now. Did a little setup just to see what it looks like through the scope. It'd be tough because, you know, here in Washington you can only use peep sights, open sights. So at 120, he's, he's real tiny and that dot pretty much takes up his whole body, but it could be done. He's just hanging out right there, so. Got to see what it looks like to have a deer in the in the peep. I mean, if I wanted to pull the trigger, I could have, but uh, like I said earlier, he's just a little little small for me. Uh, looking for something 
with some more age to it. So, well, that's gonna do it for today. I head out, it's 11.15. Wanted to check this before I left, just one more time to see, cause I never really, there's a, another area over on this backside that you can look into. It was pretty fogged in this morning, so, and being that the deer have been up and moving, I thought, well, maybe there's one up feeding over there now. So, decided to come back and check where I couldn't really see this morning, and uh, I didn't see anything in there, but then I decided, well, let's see if that spike's still there, and he sure, sure enough, he's still there. So, anyway, that's it for the video. Maybe next time we'll get one.